I'm Joanne. And I'm Dean. We're RV Sojourn and we're coming to you today from Worcester, Ohio. I'm an Ohio native. I'm from California. I've lived here. We moved here a little over a year and a half ago to be closer to Dean's family and let him get reacquainted with his friends and family here. We've had a wonderful time living here, but... We've grown a little restless and I proposed a weird thing to uh, Joanne one night. Hey, let's move out, move into an RV and go full time RVing. And she said, no way, I want a house. <laughs> she slept on it overnight. Uh, amazingly, Joanne came out the next morning and said, let's talk about this. And that's how we got started. And we've been really excited about this change. Uh, we've gone pretty much all over Ohio. We haven't made it down to the Cincinnati area. We're in the far, pretty far northeast, not that far from Cleveland. Wonderful town that we live in called Worcester. It's about 25,000 people. There's just about everything you could want here in a good small town. There's a lot of culture in Ohio that we on the west coast don't realize. People are really into symphonies and plays and art and it's been really gratifying to live here and to get close to Dean's family here but now we're ready to take off. Um, you want to tell them about our equipment? Yeah, once we made the decision to go on the road, we well, we started into YouTube videos. One of the first things we knew we could change was we got a Ford F-150 truck. We had to make a lot of the considerations that were requirements that we wanted for towing capacity. We made a decision on a travel trailer, and I'll let Joe. That was a long journey in itself. It took us months to figure out which one to get. Uh, we ended up with a Grand Design Imagine. We're going next week to tour their factory. It's very well insulated and it has bigger tanks because we plan to do a lot of boondocking once we get through this first six months. We looked at a bunch of other travel trailers. The reason we decided on a travel trailer is because we wanted to stay with the F-150 and there's a lot of good ultralight travel trailers now that are better insulated than they used to be. I, in the past, had a travel trailer and a fifth wheel and then a Class C. When I met Dean three years ago, I still had the Class C motorhome and we took a few trips in it. We went from uh, Central California up to Oregon, down Highway 1, believe it or not. That was quite an adventure in itself. <laughs> <laughs> that was not smart. We almost got stuck in the toll booths in the Golden Gate Bridge because we didn't realize there were special ones for vehicles that wide. We had to pull the mirrors in and we cleared it with about two inches on each side. It was terrifying, but we had a good laugh afterward. We're good travelers together and, and we're looking forward to this adventure. We don't know how long we're gonna do it. We plan to winter in the Southwest after we get through these initial trips that are gonna be pretty long distance trips, which we've heard on videos that people make that mistake, but it just worked out that way. We wanna go West. I miss the West. I miss my family in the West. But then we have to be back in Montreal for a wedding August 5th, and then we have to be back to Ohio, and then we'll head, next winter, we'll head to the Southwest for quite a few months. And let me address some technical issues or a, even some uh, YouTube and vlogging manners. We were very pleased to watch the vloggers on uh, YouTube. We got into different ones at different times and then we expanded our choice of uh, videos to watch. Joanne, I'll tell you some of the ones we... The first one I watched was Wheeling It and I love that they had general information about full-time RVing but also they showed a lot of places that they've been and reviewed campgrounds and we're hoping to do more about the actual places that we go rather than you know just the RV lifestyle. The vloggers that we have watched are all still working people and we are retired but we haven't ruled out maybe make trying to make some money along the way I work camping appeals to me I, I miss working I was a chemistry teacher and I had to retire because of health reasons Dean's had a lot of health issues but now we're pretty healthy and um, Anyway, back to the, the vlogs. Um, Technomadia, Driving a Vibin, uh, Less Junk, More Journey, Gone with the Winds. And lately I've discovered North and South. They have nine kids in a fifth wheel and very inspiring about the uh, lifestyle. And uh, Lolo Ho has been uh, a great uh, RVing tool. They're very good at the videoing and uh, explanations. We've seen all the different styles explanation. We've seen the growth of uh, our fellow vloggers on um, the more videos you make, the uh, uh, more comfortable you seem to, to be in making it. I'm a retired accountant. I've 
been very active over my business career in web page development for displaying business data. I hope to really learn this video vlogging and video editing and audio editing with Adobe Premiere Pro. I've been a user of their products over the years. I'm new to it. I hope to grow in it. I've listened to a lot of videos. Oh, I'll let Joanne introduce the chewing sound you heard down there was um, our puppy Mercedes. She's named after a character in uh, the Count of Monte Cristo. His uh, young love interest, Mercedes. So she's she's, a, she's seven and a half months old, and she's a cockalier. She's a part King Charles Spaniel and part a cocker Spaniel. She's she still in the chewing stage, though. So. <laughs> they they may go to 18 pounds. They're sort of a, a, a toy breed, but I think she's already reached her 18 pound uh, yeah. level. She's a little garbage gut, and we love her a lot, and she's a great lap dog. So she'll be traveling with us. You'll see the adventures of Mercedes on our <laughs> videos, and she's trying to tear something up right now. We're hopeful see. that she can take care of any grizzly bears and bison <laughs> that come our way along the journey. We've noticed some, noticed some of those creatures in in your videos uh, we hope to run across them too and film them and present them we're big into hopefully flora fauna nature and in, in its majesty hope to share that with you i want to mention that we we're still in, in the planning stages we've bought you know the equipment uh, we're not leaving for a couple of months and we're downsizing right now we downsized so much when we moved from california a year and a half ago but we've got a lot to get rid of still and we're trying to make the decision do we get rid of our furniture or do we store it because it's pretty expensive to store our good Amish furniture that we bought here in Ohio in a climate controlled storage place so that's the next big thing we've got to confront we're going to domicile out of South Dakota so we'll be taking care of that soon after we leave in April uh, we're going down to Kentucky because it'll still be kind of cold here in the Northeast. We're going to spend a couple weeks down that way, then we'll head up to South Dakota. Mercedes, quit chewing on the tripod. Our tripod seems to be at risk right <laughs> now, but uh, maybe we can get out this video before she destroys it. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's enough about us. Yeah, um, we're, uh, we've made some both RV choice, uh, truck choice. Uh, I've got some camera equipment. We had some, we've added. Oh, if uh, Joanne hasn't added, I, I've got the desire in the, uh, I, I would love to get a uh, drone someday to take drone footage. So again, we're RV Sojourn. I hope you come along with us and subscribe to our videos. We'd love you on our journey. We'd love you to share and post comments with us about uh, RVing. Thank you so much. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>